goal writing and goal planning. Goals are simply a clearer statement of the visions specifying the accomplishments to be achieved if the vision is to become real. After you set your important goals, you move to setting objectives. Objectives are sub-goals set with the only purpose to serve your goals. In this lesson, we discuss the dynamics of goal writing and goal planning. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to understand the concept of goals, objectives, mission and vision. Discuss the concept of performance and development plans. State the use of goals and role of KRAs. Analyze the performance standards. The goal of a corporate depends on its vision, which should be a short, succinct and inspiring statement of what the organization intends to become and to achieve at some point in the future, often stated in competitive terms. It is a long-range aim for a specified period. It must be specific and realistic. All activities in the organization have to be integrated for achievement of those corporate objectives. Performance management systems in a top-down approach, the activities of various departments, teams and individuals travel down in terms of concrete and tangible sub-objectives which are to be shared with the employees, their competencies matched and linked with the schemes for rewarding high performance and developing deficient ones. The performance and development agreement is also known as performance contract and it is the agreement on objectives and accountabilities reached by individuals with their managers. The agreement is usually reached at a formal review meeting and recorded during or after the meeting on a performance review form. The individual agreement should be based on an open two-way and unambiguous discussion. This covers the areas such as what the person is doing now, what the person might have to do in the future because of changing requirements, how the work should be done, what the expected outputs and outcomes of the work are, what knowledge, skills and ability are required to do the work, any core values the individual would be expected to uphold, what support the person requires from the manager, from co-workers, from resources or information. The most important need centers on information regarding key external and internal customers' needs and expectations. Each internal customer has performance requirements that must be made explicit. It is here that key performance area, key results area, key indicators are worked out. Due consideration is also given to the objective and competence agreement and definition aspects of the performance and development agreement. The performance and development planning part of the performance management sequence is primarily a joint exploration of what individuals need to do and know to improve their performance and develop their skills and competencies and how their managers can provide the support and guidance they need. This requires competence mapping and machine and potential development. Competency is underlying characteristics required to perform a given task, activity or a role. The performances aspect of the plan obtained agreement on what has to be done to achieve objectives, raise standards and improve performance. Methods of measuring performance and analyzing evidence of levels of competence are considered. For individuals, this stage includes the preparation and agreement of a personal development plan, PDP. Continuous monitoring is an automated feedback mechanism used by management to help ensure that systems and controls operate as designed and transactions are processed in accordance with prescribed policies and processes. Performance management should not be imposed on managers as something special that they have to do. The aim of continuous monitoring and feedback generations is to provide intrinsic motivation by giving people autonomy and the means to control their work. Of course, individuals' needs for job satisfaction, growth, security, recognition and reward have to be understood and reconciled with the needs of the organization. And the continuous process of managing performance 
throughout the year can be carried out in a way that respects different needs as well as recognizing mutual interests. Progress in implementing the personal development plan can also be monitored during the year. While setting the performance standards, you must pay attention to the quantity and quality of outcome, the time taken to produce it and the resources used or the cost incurred to produce it. The main challenge is to measure if the impact of environment in making achievement of targeted performance easy or difficult and to determine the sustainability of performance standards in a dynamic, fast-changing context. To overcome these, the goals must specify what and how much is to be done and describes the level of performance and outcome that will meet expectations, should provide the shared measurable indices for meeting standards in terms of quantity, quality, time, cost, etc should state how flexible it is to meet unforeseen contingencies, should be within the manager's control, involve some important accountability and address results that concern her role responsibility and should be able to be tracked and reviewed periodically and indicate the time frame for completion. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. A mission is the purpose towards which an endeavor is directed. Right or wrong? Wrong. It is a goal. A goal is a statement giving a broad inspirational image of the future that an organization is aiming to achieve. Right or wrong? Wrong. It is not a goal. It is a vision. KRAs are the agreement on objectives and accountabilities reached by individuals with their managers. Right or wrong? Wrong. It is performance and development agreement. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Goals are simply a clearer statement of the visions, specifying the accomplishments to be achieved if the vision is to become real. The target objectives are clearer statements of the specific activities required to achieve the goals starting from the current status. Vision mission objectives has to be based on the best in the line of business, the benchmark business organization. Higher the competition, it is better because we do all that are required to raise our systems and procedures to meet the challenge. Organizations are vision and mission driven. All activities in the organization therefore have to be integrated for achievement of those corporate objectives. The performance development agreement is usually reached at a formal review meeting and recorded during or after the meeting on a performance review form. Many organizations ask both managers and individuals to complete a pre-review meeting questionnaire which will provide an agenda for the review. The performance and development planning part of the performance management sequence is primarily a joint exploration of what individuals need to do and know to improve their performance and develop their skills and competencies and how their managers can provide the support and the guidance they need. Performance management helps people to get into action so that they can achieve planned and agreed results. An organization is essentially a well-integrated combination of people who produce results necessary to fulfill specific common goals using certain resources. Organizational performance, therefore, is to a very great extent the performance of its people.